Good morning, you guys. It is about 8.30 and I kind of just got up and drinking some coffee. I am getting ready to go to a peer bar class. I'm going to their Empower class, which kind of combines like interval training with bar, which is really awesome. So I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing really fast. I gotta leave or else I'm gonna get stuck in traffic with all the people going to work. But I just have this huge hoodie on from H&M and I'm wearing my little Fabletics set that you guys saw in my haul the other day. So really cute, I love the white. I have a, like a spray tan on, I was tanned a few days ago, so I always wear white when I'm like tanned because it looks really good. So um, anyways, let's go, I gotta go. I'm gonna be late. Here comes the traffic, oh no. Okay, I really hope this traffic doesn't make me late. Oh no, there's a little build up, oh no. All right, headed to Pier Bar. And it's time that I get back in my fitness game. Um, I was needed to kind of get through that first hump of the whole 30 before I knew I could like work out again because my energy was so low from the sugar and gluten detox. It was like, I was feeling like dizzy and like tired every day. It was really weird and bad, but I just like knew I couldn't, I couldn't like bring it all on at once. You know, you gotta do like baby steps. So I'm gonna try and incorporate a couple of classes back into my schedule a few times a week. I like classes, I feel like they really are motivating for me. Um, but yeah, 2020, one of my goals is to like incorporate exercise definitely more into my routine and not and not look at it as like for a reason to look a certain way but just for my health because that's way more motivating me to me than um relating it back to like my body image I don't know why for me personally it just helps like because then I'll like trip out about it and it feels like pressure and stuff like that so um yeah I'm headed there drinking my coffee and feeling a little leaky. Um, I don't know why, but I didn't sleep very well. But I'm just gonna listen to some tunes. And I hope I'm not late. Uh, yeah, I need to like get on it. Okay, see you there. Okay, here we go. I'm not gonna bring the camera in, but wish me luck. Woo! Okay, just got done with the class. I need to take this long sleeve off. Oh my gosh, I was. A little warm actually this is pretty breathable it wasn't bad but it's really humid out today so it would have been fine if it was just like normal but oh my goodness that feels so much better okay um okay next up is oh my my legs are jello we did so much leg work i really like that class though i did the um pure empower and it um is 45 minutes instead of an hour and it like combines interval training with pure bar oh do my muscles look like do i look like i just worked them oh my god yes queen okay yeah it combines interval training with bar so you do like some circuits and then in between you're doing like bar stuff i really like the combination and honestly 45 minutes is a dream like i think an hour class is just like sometimes i'm like oh my god when is this hour gonna be over so i love the 45 minute i feel like it's great um anyway so there's two pure bar studios in plano i like the plano ones the best just like the vibes of the girls are really nice it's sometimes i feel like with workout studios like it can get a little pretentious or like catty i don't know but like the girls at the Plano and North Plano studios are like so wholesome. Um, my girlfriend actually owns the studios and she is like one of my best friends. She's like the coolest girl ever and just so down to earth and genuine. And that's like the vibe of the studios. So they make you feel so welcome and like just like you, I don't know. There's like a lot of diversity. There's just, I don't know. It's just like a cool place. So if you're in the Plano area, you should definitely go check out Plano or the North Plano Pure Bar Studios for workout classes. Um, so anyways, okay. I want to do some errands. I want to go to Sephora because I watched Sophia Richie's Vogue makeup tutorial and now I want like <laughs> everything that she used in the tutorial. Well, there's only two things. I want the foundation and then the Chanel cream tan that she, um, 
So I'm gonna go to Sephora. I need to go return a jacket at Urban Outfitters and then ship a package. So I'm just gonna do some little errands. Okay, I just left Urban Outfitters. I did my return and I ended up getting a few things. So I'll show those to you guys a little bit later when I get home. Um, and they're actually just like really good basics. Um, now I'm going into Sephora. So I'll bring you into Sephora with me. And like I said earlier, going to buy some of the products in Sophia Richie's tutorial. Um, and what else did I want to get? Oh, dry bar, dry shampoo. It's like my favorite dry shampoo. And um, I made a list. Oh, an Anastasia bronzer. I really want to try that. So let's go. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, they do not have the Bobbi Brown foundation that I wanted. It's the skin serum foundation, but I don't think they have it. Okay, got the goods. They didn't have a ton, but I got two things. I'll show you in the car. So that was somewhat of a fail. Two things, I got the dry bar dry shampoo in the coconut colada scent. Smells really good. I sprayed it in my hair too and it like really works. This is like the best dry shampoo. And it, I like the coconut. It's not like overpowering or like way too strong. It just um, smells like just enough. So it's still like a nice soft scent because I hate when dry shampoos are like overly scented. It's just like grosses me out. Also got this Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in saddle. I used to use the rosewood one a ton um but i wanted to have this color for when i'm a little bit more tan because it's a little bit deeper and it just looks like a really nice color i've seen um some people use it on youtube so i wanted to try that color so we'll see what it looks like Ugh, okay i'm really tired um all right let's head home and get to work text me actually yeah that dry shampoo was like amazing my hair was so greasy before just got back to the house and hunter helped me unload the car from costco i ended up going to costco just to pick up two items and <laughs> look what it ended up coming out with so much stuff but I filmed a IGTV haul of all of our healthy Costco finds. So if you want to check that out, it's on my IGTV. And I know I said that, I think, on vlog a while ago when I did it, like a Whole Foods shop. I actually never ended up putting that on IGTV, but this one is up. So you can head over there to see all of our little Whole30 healthy finds from Costco. Um, I ended up getting like a couple of things that maybe are pushing the limits like a little bit, but... Hunter and I, I think like we're trying to stick with it and it's been a little bit tough. So having like a couple of things that can keep us like on track for the most part, I think will really help. So for example, uh, paleo bars, which have all Whole30 compliant ingredients except a tiny bit of honey. And you know what? It's like, whatever. I know we're not supposed to have honey, but it's not like we are eating Hershey's candy bars or like Snickers. So in my opinion, if this can keep us to get through the whole 30 things like this, then we're okay with it. We're kind of like not tweaking it, but we're just trying to make it work for us because the longer we can go, if we have to add in a little honey or maybe like a sweet potato cracker, it's not the end of the world. So um, we've done whole 30 before, so we know it's an elimination diet, but just trying to find the things that kind of help us get through it and like stay sane so that we can do it longer, I think is helpful. And it's still better than eating a bunch of complete garbage. So that's kind of our thoughts on where we're at right now. Um, but you can head over there to see other things I found. Lots of like little like nut butters, salsas, crackers, stuff like that. So check it out. And now I'm going to unload all this stuff into the pantry in the fridge divided all the meats up so I took out a few chickens and I divided like these all into like you know week or two week portions so this is what I'm gonna put in the fridge and then all of this is gonna go in the freezer and we can thaw it out as needed okay so this is kind of what I've done so 
We've got, um, actually keep like a lot of our medicine in here just because we don't have enough air, like a big enough space anywhere else to, um, put it. So Hunter's like stuffer is back. Um, any kind of supplements, so protein powders, pre-workout, vitamins, chia, hemp, like kind of stuff like that. It's like more super foody. I keep on that shelf. These are appliances. Oh, hemp parts need to go up here. Got our care of vitamins back there too. Um, any appliances that we pull in and out are kind of like here. All the alcohol stuff we can't have on the whole 30. These have sugar in them, so the verb energy bars are so good, but we can't have them. Mixers for drinks, which we're not using. And up top is um, trash, extra trash bags and like paper towels and stuff. Okay, this is all of our like cooking kind of stuff. So I've got a big bag of sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, nut pods, coconut milk, uh, chicken broth, bone broth, stuff like that. So this stuff we've all been using a lot for the Whole30. Normally I wouldn't have this much stuff, but we're cooking everything. So it's like, you need a lot. And this is like my can and nuts drawer. So all my canned stuff, jarred stuff, nuts. And up here is more like baking or key ingredients. So we've got like the mayo, ghee, avocado oil, baking, like flowers and things like that. And little snacks like uh, dried fruit, kale chips, goji berries, the crackers, bars. And then up here is any like leftover cups or utensils we've had from parties. And we'll just kind of like use them, plastic wrap. And then paper towels, dog treats, dog food, it's more dog food. And then I keep like our little Dyson and stuff in here. So that's kind of the pantry tour. For lunch, I am just cooking up some of the sausage I just bought. So it's right there. And then I'm actually gonna heat a big batch of the vegetables I made the other day, which you guys saw. So this will be kind of like the base of the meal. These have been really handy. It's good to like, I just always start with this at the bottom and that way you know you're like always getting your veggies in because it's easy to just, I don't know, forget. Okay, that's probably good. I'm going to heat those up in the microwave really quick and then maybe make some eggs with that and top it. Adding a little eggs to the sausage. <laughs> The sausage will probably be good just by itself, but we're trying to use up all of our stuff because we're running out of space in the fridge. Oh, stop it. So okay, there we go. This guacamole I got from top, uh, Costco fell out and exploded, so I might just try a little bit of it on top. Mm. for some extra flavor. By the way, an update on the house painting process, schmear-ish, majiggy. Um, they're still going, they're wrapping around the back of the house. It's been a week now, but Noah cannot handle this, you guys. Look, he literally, he literally sits here all day and just growls at them like they're about to walk in. Oh, stop it. That is so ridiculous. <laughs> he just watches them. He wants to bark so bad. And sometimes he'll lash out and bark. I'm like, you're such a loser. Okay, come on, that's enough. That's enough. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys what I picked up from Urban earlier. I got um, this little crop top. Sorry, I'm not gonna try everything on. I just can't be bothered, but it's a super simple bralette. I was wearing it earlier. It's just like amazing. It's no lining. Um, is it by Free People? No, it's not. Um, I got it in a size extra small, small, and it fits perfect. It's just like the perfect kind of under bra. I don't know. Sometimes I don't like wearing like a full padded bra, so this is really nice. I just thought it'd be a good option for like a chill casual bra. Oh my god, my couch. Um, really good basic. I'm in love with it. I want to get it more color. The nude is key. I also got this sort of high neck 
one also from their line and it's white and ribbed and just another good basic i love little like bralette and crop tops i just wear them all the time with like sweats and stuff and then this really nice basic cropped tank it's again ribbed all from their like intimate line really good simple basics so i got it in gray and then i also got it in nude so really cute and this little pair of cream ribbed sweats they are kind of like oversized i got these in a size small they definitely run really big i'll try these on for you guys because i know those are like you need to see them and then these amazing light wash jeans which kind of look like vintage levi's but they're around like $70, so good price point, and just that perfect mom fit and like light wash. So I'll try both of the bottoms on for you guys right now. All right, here we are. I just decided to put the tops on so you could see it too, but look how nice fitting the little basic tank is. And then here are the sweats. Nice and like oversized, loose. Um, they're just really comfortable, and I like the ribbed. I don't have like any ribbed sweats, so um, yeah, a little drawstring perfect high waist they're just really comfortable the jeans and i love these so the reason i love them is because they're like kind of a mom style but they're not too loose in the thigh or like the leg area because it's a very fine line you don't want like skinnies but you don't want them baggy because they can like some mom jeans can be unflattering i find so i really love the fit of these they're like kind of snug all up here and then just a little loose around the calf which is exactly what i like so um they're by the urban brand bdg i got them in a size 25 and i would say like pro they're probably going to stretch because they're like a true denim so you know, do your true size or even go down um, and then here's that other little basic top, really cute white, and just like could wear under little things and just a really cute crop. I just need like, I love having like little simple things like this to wear underneath sweaters or whatever when you don't want to wear like a bra, like a wire bra over like a under a chunky sweater, you don't really need to. So um, love these jeans, they're such a good basic jean and I'm obsessed. Those are some of the things I got. Also, it's not sponsored or anything. I just wanted to pick up a few basics when I went in there to do my return. So I'll link them below if you guys are interested. If you watched the Costco haul on IGTV, you would have known that we bought these well, naughty things. This, this plays an eye trick. It looks like one of those big cartons of goldfish. These are started. definitely not allowed. These are not allowed. No, Should I we, can't believe you bought these. I, I didn't realize they had corn in them. I thought they were just sweet potato, and then I got home. Is that bad? Should I put them away? The first ingredient is... Will you put them on the top shelf? But they're so good. I don't like them that much, so... I, I mean, they're just good to have a crunch. I'm not tempted by these, but when you look at it from the side, it's like it looks like that goldfish like, like little box. I know. So I keep walking by like, oh, that's goldfish. I haven't had goldfish in a minute. So we got these paleo... I got these paleo bars. And the only ingredient that's not Whole30 is honey, <laughs> which is a big one. But, but it's organic. I think that we can go longer if we have some cocoa nibbles like You're this. failing the Whole30. It will... You're eating I'm, sugar and dairy. Hunter, it's been hard for me. Well... I mean, I don't have any help. You gotta start trying harder. It must... It's nice if you have like, someone I think just, it's okay to have like a give every once in a while. Like, I'm gonna give into the honey. I would love a Whole30 personal <sighs> chef. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. Wow. <laughs> I would love that. Okay, listen. I'm gonna give into the honey, but I feel like you're already kind of giving into the dairy piece, so like you should probably hold off on this. Well, you tell me how it is if it's worth it. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna really like no. these. Really? If you're more of like a bar. You know what? If we have a little bar I'm, here and there, I'm, I'm, I'm completely joking. If it can help us continue to eat the vegetables and everything, like then I'm game. I'm joking. I can't help that I'm healthier. Here. It's because you have a private chef, bitch. <laughs> I mean, I'm your private living chef. Mm -hmm. She is. Oh my god. You are so worth it. They are? Mm. Are they really? Okay, I'm going to just a bite. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> my chewing. That's so good. These are delicious. Okay. I'm going to be on the whole 30. No. Let me see if it's good for the whole 30. Yeah, we got that yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. 
Goose we got that yum and yum. You know like on, you know on the gusher commercials they eat a gusher and their head would turn into like a fruit? This is like <laughs> you, you eat it. Alright. Oh my god, shit, those are good. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-